The biggest difference between a parking charge notice and a penalty charge notice is how they're governed and enforced. It's never really wise to totally ignore a parking ticket because the chances are they'll catch up with you eventually. But there are clear differences between these two tickets and how fast it can escalate if you don't respond. Penalty charge notices are enforceable by law and they're given to you by authorities like the Council, Highways Agency, Transport for London and you can also get them for not paying certain toll roads. If you don't pay or appeal your penalty charge notice within 28 days, the council will send a charge certificate that increases your fine by 50%. You must pay this increased fine within 14 days or the council will ask for a court order to make you pay. If you continue to avoid paying, the council could enforce a debt by using bailiffs who can seize your goods to be sold and they could also charge expensive fees that are added to your debt. Parking charge notices, on the other hand, are seen as more like an invoice. You'll get them from private land car parks and big companies like supermarkets because they employ operators to make sure that we abide by the car park's rules. They have to follow a code of practice, but if they think that we've broken the rules, that's when they dish out a parking fine. If you don't pay it and ignore it, then it's treated as a debt because it's seen as more of an invoice. That's why they can pass it over to debt collectors to persistently chase you for the money. They don't have the same power as bailiffs, but what you have to be careful of is if they then apply to the court to give you a county court judgment, that's a CCJ. Now what this does is get the court to make you pay, but not only that, it'll leave a bad mark on your credit file for six years. You'll see lots of people online saying that you can just ignore private tickets as they're not enforceable, which is technically true, but if the operator does escalate the matter to court, that's when the issues can arise. They won't always do it, but it's not necessarily a risk that's worth taking. So, if you get either kind of ticket, then you have two options, pay or appeal. If you think you have sufficient proof that you weren't in the wrong, back this up with as much evidence as possible and then send your appeal off. This puts your ticket on hold and the sooner you do it, the more likely you'll be able to pay the discounted rate if your appeal's rejected. So the difference between a penalty charge notice and a parking charge notice is that a penalty charge is a real fine from the local authority, while a parking charge is a type of invoice from a private company. Penalty charge notices aren't just for parking contraventions, while parking charge notices are exclusively for parking contraventions on privately owned land. So if you're in doubt about whether you can appeal and you want to work out your next move, then it might be a good idea to speak to an online solicitor like Just Answer. They can answer any questions that you've got in their online chat and they offer a £5 trial. I'll link to it below the video and if you do use it, you'll be supporting Thrifty Family, so thank you.